if a guy descended tomorrow from a white cloud, beard, cloak, staff, introduced himself as God and said, you know, homosexuality's not cool, maybe I'd have to. Well, this is the city of Edmonton. It's beautiful, creating God's image, but they have to repent. Oh, it's not well in Canada. Even good liberals should be concerned about the oppression of your free speech. What is the position the Saskatchewan Human Rights is taking to the Supreme Court? What grounds did they appeal on? Basically, that my words are harmful. How are you going to keep this born-again Christian, or whatever he is, from praying at some abortion clinic someplace? He wants to do it that bad, let him do it. When will gay Canada accept people like Bill Whatcott? It's a very important case that I think all Canadians should follow, and uh, the fact that it's getting to the Supreme Court. More people will pay attention now. I would like to see the Supreme Court make a ruling. You go across this line, and then it becomes hate. What you have now is the idea that hate speech includes saying, I disagree with you. If you want to work for Canada, you have to be of a certain faith, the gay faith. His biggest enemy, you know his biggest enemies are? Himself. <laughs> no, in the church. Bill Watcott gives Christianity a bad name. They should be afraid of guys like that. You look at Ezekiel, you look at Jeremiah, they weren't very popular. People who use the Bible to, to persecute other people, I, I just I have no use for it. I'm Bill Watcott, not sure if you ever heard of me. You're really taking the criticism to the nth degree here, which I think in Canada should be your right. Uh, it's not a line of attack that I take. But that's the brilliant aspect of it.